ever hit a situation where your FastMCP tool needs to know which server instance it's running on, but you don't want to hardcode server names or pass them as parameters. You'll see exactly how to access the underlying FastMCP server instance directly from your tool's context. The pattern uses CTX, FastMCP, to dynamically retrieve server metadata, keeping your code flexible across different deployments. At MCP tool, a sync def my tool's CTX context none. Hash access the FastMCP server instance. Server name equals CTX FastMCP name. <laughs> this demonstrates the context injection pattern where framework capabilities are provided to functions through a dedicated context object rather than global state or direct dependencies. The context object acts as a centralized access point for cross-cutting concerns like logging, progress reporting, and resource access, while keeping your tool logic clean and focused. What makes this distinctive is how it decouples your business logic from infrastructure concerns letting you write tools that are both powerful and transport agnostic. The pattern works by leveraging Python's type hints for dependency injection, where FastMCP automatically provides the context instance when your function executes. This creates a clear separation. Your tool defines what it needs to accomplish through its parameters and return type, while the framework handles how those needs are fulfilled at runtime. The async nature of context methods ensures non-blocking operations, making it ideal for interactive or long-running processes where client feedback is critical. This approach solves the problem of framework pollution in your business logic, where tools would otherwise need direct access to servers, loggers, or progress trackers. By standardizing access through context, you gain consistency across tools, resources, and prompts while maintaining testability, since the context can be mocked or provided as a fixture. The trade-off is a slight learning curve for the context API, but the payoff is cleaner architecture, especially in larger systems where cross-cutting concerns would otherwise create tight coupling. Let's break it down line by line. At MCP Tool, a sync def my tool CTX context none. This defines an AA callable tool using FastMCP's decorator pattern. The at MCP tool decorator exposes this async function to AI models, while the context parameter provides logging and progress reporting capabilities. All FastMCP tools follow this signature for consistent AI integration. Hash access the FastMCP server instance. Server name equals CTX, FastMCP name. This accesses the current FastMCP server instance through the context object. The CTX, FastMCP property provides metadata about the running server, with name retrieving its identifier for logging or conditional logic. All FastMCP tools receive this context parameter for server interaction and progress reporting. <laughs> the ellipsis here is a placeholder indicating omitted code. In this context, it suggests there's additional implementation logic between accessing the server instance and the rest of the function, which would typically include the tool's core functionality or business logic. Context injection pattern. The FastMCP context object appears as a function parameter, yet carries the entire server's execution state, available only during the request lifecycle. Every request receives a fresh context instance, so storing data between requests requires external persistence. This pattern enables stateless, yet context-aware operations across tools, resources, and prompts. The parameter that carries everything carries nothing between calls.